guy that has ridiculously long hair, Isaac Newton. So I have some pictures here that you can pass around. Okay. Isaac Newton was an English physicist, mathematician, astronomer, natural philosopher, alchemist, and a theologian. But before I go into that, let me start from the beginning of his life. Isaac was born on January 4th, 1643, in a manor house in Lincolnshire, England. His father, who was a prosperous farmer, also named Isaac Newton, died three months before Isaac was born, so Isaac never knew his father at all. He was also born prematurely, and his mother, Hannah A. Cox, said that he was so small that he could fit inside a court mug. When Isaac turned three years old, his mother remarried and went to live with her new husband, the Reverend Barnabas Smith, leaving Isaac to live with his grandmother, Marjorie A. Cox. Isaac did not like his stepfather and showed some bitterness towards his mother for marrying him. Isaac's childhood was not very happy, probably from the lack of attention from his mother, and often he would have emotional breakdowns. When Isaac turned 12 years old, he went to the King's School Grant House. You can still see his signature written on a library window so there. He stayed at the school until he was 17. He was removed from the school by his mother, and by October 1659, he was with his mother again, who was widowed again, and was attempting to make him a farmer. But Isaac hated farming. Henry Stokes, the master at the King's School, persuaded Hannah to let Isaac go back to the school so he could complete his education. So Isaac went back, and he became a top ranked student. In June 1661, Isaac was admitted to the Trinity College, Cambridge. At the time, the university's teachings were based on those of Aristotle, but Isaac liked to study more of the advanced ideas of the modern philosophers and astronomers. Four years later, in 1665, Isaac got his bachelor's degree without any honors or distinction. At the same time, he discovered the generalized binomial theorem, which is the important formula giving the expansion of some of the power of sums. And he also began to develop a mathematical theory that would later become calculus. Soon after, the university closed down as a precaution against the Great Plague. So as he went home, the development of his theories on calculus, optics, which is the study of light and vision, and the laws of gravitation were born. During two to three years of intense mental effort, he prepared the Philosophe Naturalis Principia Mathematica, or also called Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, commonly known as the Principia. In it, he talked about gravitation, laws of motion, momentum, and laws more. Although the Principia was not published until July 5, 1687. So Isaac went back to the university two years after, in 1667, and was elected a fellow of Trinity College, which was by uh, an honor student and Lucasian professor of mathematics in 1667. He remained at the university until 1696. During those years, from 1670 to 1672, Isaac lectured on optics. He investigated the refraction of light, demonstrating that a prism could decompose white light into a spectrum of colors, and that a lens and a second prism could recompose the multicolored spectrum into white light. He also showed that the color light does not change its properties by separating out a color beam and shining it on various objects. Isaac noted that regardless of whether it was reflected or scattered or transmitted, it stayed the same color. Thus, Isaac observed that the color is the result of objects interacting with already colored light, rather than the objects generating the color themselves. This is known as the Newton's theory of color. In, 1690, or in 1679, Isaac's mother, Hannah, died. Surprisingly, he actually got really depressed about it, which is weird because they had a very bad relationship. Around that, around the same time, Isaac started working on mechanics, or in other words, gravitation and its effects on the orbits of planets. Isaac himself often told the story of how he was inspired to develop his theory of gravitation by watching an apple fall off of a tree. Cartoons have gone further to suggest that the apple actually hit Isaac's head and that its impact somehow made him aware of the force of gravity. He said, gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who sets the planets in motion. <coughs> God governs all things and know all that is or can be done. In 1689, Isaac was elected to represent Cambridge, the university, in the Parliament of England from 1689 to 1690 and also in 1701. In the 1690s, Isaac wrote many religious essays dealing with the interpretation of the Bible. Isaac was actually very religious, and he wrote a lot more Bible theory interpretations than on the natural science which he is remembered for today. Isaac also attempted, unsuccessfully, to find hidden messages within the Bible. In a manuscript he wrote in 1704, he described his attempts to obtain scientific information from the Bible, and he estimated that the world would end no earlier than 2060, which is almost 50 years away.
Also, in 1704, Isaac published another book called Optics, in which he described more of his theory of life. In his life, Isaac made many different scientific discoveries. He also made many inventions, like the first reflecting telescope. He contribu contributed so much to the world. Isaac Newton died of old age at the age, at the age of 84 on March 31st, 1727, and is buried in Westminster Abbey. After his death, Isaac's body was discovered to have massive amounts of mercury in it, probably resulting from his research.